Hi, myself Rakesh. Welcome back to Expop channel. Today we have selected two topics. One is to understand about simple breakpoint, and the other one is conditional breakpoints. So, what are these two things? Simple breakpoint and conditional breakpoint. So, you have seen an example. You know, breakpoints. When you go to debug, there is an option called breakpoint. And if you would like to pause your entire execution on a given activity, so you apply a breakpoint. right and the other one is with condition so let's see that in demonstration it will be very clear so let me delete this and let's get started so do it along with me so first thing i want you to drag and drop is the assign activity okay so drag and drop the assign activity just by going through this demonstration both this point will be absolutely clear simple breakpoint and conditional breakpoint so let's start practicing on the studio so you have dragged and dropped the assign activity and here let's create a variable control plus k and let me give the name as int value integer values okay and here i want to store some numbers into it so i will create a array of integers okay and let me store some numbers into it so i will use curly braces and inside the curly braces i am going to say 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 okay so five numbers i am putting so the array is created done now the next thing i want you to do is drag and drop the for each loop activity and here you mention the array done and on the for each type argument change it to integer because you'll be dealing with integers right okay now once this is done i will drag and drop a right line activity and i want to see the output so i want to see every time what is the output so i will simply say item dot to string right so what would happen just by writing this if i hit on run on the output panel i will see all this output 10 20 30 40 50 right that should be my output expected output now with the simple example i wanted to demonstrate how the simple breakpoint work and how the conditional breakpoint works okay so let's see that so now you can see the output are getting printed 30 40 50 everything is getting printed out right so this is the simple way this is the simple execution let's say i want to apply a breakpoint and to understand how the breakpoint works what i am going to do i am going to highlight this activity and hit on the breakpoint so the breakpoint is applied and the same thing can be done by right clicking on the activity and click on toggle breakpoint so if you if i do it once again it has disabled if i do once more it will be removed if i do once again again it will be activated so enable disable remove if you do it three times so enable disable remove enable disable remove okay so let me enable it okay so now this is called simple breakpoint why i am saying simple breakpoint because there is no condition every time the execution runs at this particular point it will stop so let me run it and show you so the execution has started and i have kept it a slow step okay i have enabled this so it goes slightly slow so and i can see it so at this point it it paused paused right let me continue again again the loop will run and at the same point it is pausing right so so it will pause and then it will execute so right now the value is 10 if i continue again the right line it will write 20 again before writing 30 it has paused then if i continue again it will write 30 look at the output panel right so like that it is continuing so this is the simple breakpoint so breakpoint means pause you are pausing it pause the execution on an activity now let's understand conditional breakpoint this is very important conditional breakpoint what it is now for conditional breakpoint what i will do I will right click on this activity and click on edit breakpoint settings. Okay so this window would come. And the same thing you can achieve if you go to breakpoint settings and highlight uh, this one uh, the, uh, the breakpoint and let's say you have highlighted assi assign activity in your workflow go to breakpoints if you double click on this right line it will automatically take you to that activity where it is applied. So let's go to the breakpoint and the same thing can be done over here right click and open settings. Okay? These are the two different ways you can access the breakpoint settings. So here let me apply a setting or a condition. 
item is equal to 30 so it should only pause when the item value is equal to 30 clear so let me minimize this okay so it will only pause when the item value is equal to 30 and I, it has got a plus sign that means there is a condition applied so let me run the debug run it and you will see last time it was pausing on every every time uh, that right line activity is about to execute right it was pausing but this time you can see it is not pausing it will only pause when the value will reach 30 this time it will pause so you can see 10 20 it has written it did not pause only the value when it reached 30 it has paused so wherever you feel this kind of a need is there in your project so that is where you will go for a conditional breakpoint so this is one point the other thing let me tell you okay so I have applied the condition as item is equal to 30 there is another option called hit count so this for each loop is going to run one two three four five times right so what I will do instead of using that condition I can also use another option called hit count so let me remove this and instead of this I am making the hit count supposed to be three that means the loop uh, the, the activity has run for third time so when it runs for third time then you stop okay so I have made it third time so if you wanted to open it again and see it so I have made it so instead of third let me make it fourth time okay when it reaches fourth time it should stop okay let me run it so what would happen I am expecting 10 20 30 should be typed in should be printed out here and at the point when it are about to execute the 40 it's supposed to stop so let's say 10 has been printed out 20 has been printed out 30 has been printed out very good okay so exactly when it's about to execute the 40 because I said hit count is 4 so when it is the loop is running for the fourth time it's supposed to pause so it has paused so if I continue it will continue getting it so breakpoint if you have to understand and remember breakpoint means pause simple breakpoint means without any condition conditional breakpoint means you are putting a condition okay either you using a hit count or you are using a condition let me show it again okay so if you are using a condition or a hit count can you use both yes so if you are using both what would happen if any of them reaches first let's say I have put a condition item is equal to 50 so and hit count so if hit count rem uh, goes to 4 so whatever reaches first it is going to execute it's kind of a or condition this or that okay so th this is what all about uh, breakpoint and conditional breakpoint so there is something called press points even I am going to cover that in the next video I hope this video must have helped you please do like and subscribe to our channel as we have all the content that you require to become an expert in UiPath so our channel is typically made to answer all your queries in UiPath and all the subjects and concepts around UiPath thank you please do like the video do not forget please do like and please do share our videos with your friends thank you have a great day